What's up guys welcome back to Mr. Legend Crypto guys in today's video we're taking a look at general crypto market the crypto market is actually dumping Bitcoin is below 20,000 Bitcoin is trading for $19,000 Ethereum is still struggling below $1,000 how low are we going to go in this video I'm showing you my own theory of how low we're going to go yes the bottom is almost in there's so many metrics that are showing us the bottom is almost in we're looking at some of those metrics and I'll be telling you uh, what next I think will happen in the crypto market so let's get down to business but first if you are new to this channel and you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video let's get down to business So guys, it looks as if Bitcoin is currently going to dump below 20,000. It has done that already. Bitcoin is heading for that low we set at 17,600. With this low actually hold, guys, the last time Bitcoin got to 17,600, the market was closed. That's the futures Bitcoin CME futures market was closed. So we might actually see Bitcoin going lower than this 17,600. Where I actually think Bitcoin might reach, and before we get a bounce, probably I think Bitcoin might get to like 16,000. 16,400, 16,400 will be a very, very important place if Victor, if Bitcoin gets there. Uh, Bitcoin currently at $19,064. If Bitcoin dumps to that $16,400, we'll see Bitcoin losing 13% of its value. Now, I'll be showing you why I believe Bitcoin will lose up to 30% of its value because we're taking a look at the Bitcoin market cap chart and the total crypto market. But let's look at Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum is battling $1,100. Ethereum is below $1,100. Ethereum is trading for $1,015. I can see Ethereum dropping to probably as low as $800. From where Ethereum is right now, $800 will carry Ethereum maybe down another 17%. Is that possible? Hell yeah, guys. It's possible because the low Ethereum set uh, when the market dumped on the 18th of June 2022 was around $886. I know that a lot of people are uh, thinking that the bottom is in. And if we actually break below that low we set on the 18th of June, and um, people will really start panicking. Even on the Bitcoin price chart, a lot of people are saying the 17,600 is the bottom. So if we break below 17,600, that's where you start seeing a lot of panic. I don't expect uh, us to see like a lot of capitulation volume. I just expect us to just stay briefly, maybe some two days below the 17,000. Uh, 600 region before we pump back. I actually believe at some point in time, guys, Bitcoin is going to pump back to so maybe like $25,000. And because if you go to the uh, four hour time frame of Bitcoin price chart, if you put it the 200 moving average on the four hour time frame, you can see that the 200 moving average is around 25,000. At some point in time, Bitcoin is going to come back to this moving average. The last time Bitcoin touched it was the 9th of June 2022, um, and that's a very, very important moving average for Bitcoin. So, at some point in time in the future, Bitcoin is going to touch it, but guys, the more Bitcoin price falls and the more the average actually falls. So at some point in time, Bitcoin is going to come to that 200 week moving average line. And the top 10 cryptocurrency market capitalization in the last 24 hours is still unchanged. So that crypto market cap now is down to 853 billion, which is down, down bad. Guys, Bitcoin alone at the top of the bull run had a market cap of over $1.25 trillion. Now, another reason why I believe, guys, the bottom is almost in is that anytime on this poor multiple that that we get to this green region this has always been a good time to buy bitcoin in 2012 when we got there that was a very, very good time to buy bitcoin and in 2015 when we got there that was another good time to buy bitcoin even in 2018 when we got there that was a wonderful time to buy bitcoin in the 2020 covid sell-off we got there even in may we were there again that was another good time to buy bitcoin and we got there june 2021 that was a good time to buy Bitcoin because 28k. After that, Bitcoin went to set a new all-time high. Now we are back to that region again. Now, this is a good time to buy Bitcoin and capitulation is not actually at a price. Nobody knows the bottom. Um, nobody can tell you this exactly where Bitcoin will stop dumping. But we are actually close to the bottom that we are to the top. So after the bottom gets in, we'll now get a relief rally. Maybe we'll start pumping. But guys, so that crypto market looks as if it's going to be dumping. And the last uh dump to that crypto market had on the 19th of june 2022 when bitcoin got to that 17,000, and total crypto market cap dropped to as low as 768 billion dollars right now total crypto market cap is at 831 billion uh, if we are going to drop to the previous all-time high which is around 741 billion total crypto market cap will be down more than 11 percent and that's just the best case scenario we can actually go way way lower than that i'll be telling you the worst case scenario but let's look at some other charts Let's look at the Bitcoin plus Ethereum 
market capitalization chart joined together bitcoin and ethereum from the top of the market that happened in november 2021 and they are down more than 76 percent i can see bitcoin and ethereum and being down 78 percent that will carry the total market cap of bitcoin and ethereum to around 400 billion dollars and worst case scenario, if Bitcoin will do what has done in the previous bear market and drop from 83% to 85%, I can see Bitcoin getting to as low as 268 to as high as maybe 290 billion market cap, Bitcoin and Ethereum market cap combined. If Bitcoin and Ethereum and market cap gets to that level, guys, that will be down, down, bad. We might see Ethereum trading for less than $500. And we might see Bitcoin trading for around probably eleven dollars or $12,000. Uh, but you can see that the critical support here is the previous all-time high, which is around... 400 billion for the total crypto market cover of Bitcoin and Ethereum and if 400 billion and dollars doesn't hold we might actually be going to goblin town and the next logical support where price have interacted with the total market cover of Bitcoin and Ethereum is this 270 billion dollar region so that will be actually a place to look out for that's the worst case scenario and that will be a combined dump on the Bitcoin and Ethereum market cap by how many percent by around 44 percent and if we go to the bitcoin price chart if 44 percent drop from where we are right now we see bitcoin uh, going to which price let's see how low bitcoin go if bitcoin drops 44 percent from where we are right now 44 percent we see bitcoin around 10,500 around 11,000 so that will be down down bad for bitcoin and if we see 40, 40 something percent drop on ethereum how low will ethereum go ethereum is currently trading for around 1,000 and 16 dollars we see ethereum going for four percent down ethereum trading for around 550 dollars so that would be worst case scenario for bitcoin and ethereum i think in the bear market the start crypto market cap excluding bitcoin and ethereum has touched the previous all-time high set in 2018 and holding up well but right now that the market is dumping if we cannot hold that level guys we might be going to gobbling town and gobbling town for the total crypto market cap excluding bitcoin and excluding ethereum might probably be 168 billion dollars but it's a caveat to that that's the worst case scenario we see all coins dropping more than 50 60 percent of their value but the total crypto market cap excluding bitcoin and ethereum also includes stable coins and if we want to check the market cap of stable coins in the market the top stable coins in the market this is the market cap of usd theta usdc binance and their stable coins and their total market cap is 146 billion dollars and if you take out 146 billion dollars from 346 billion dollars that's around 200 billion dollars and if we are dropping more than more than 40% on 200 billion dollars guys we'll see the total crypto market cap excluding bitcoin and ethereum losing more than 60% of its value and that will be crazy crazy for the all coins all coins can still go down they're very very risky so be careful with all coins during the bear market yes the bottom is almost in but guys you want to be careful because there's a difference between um buying just before the bottom and buying after a 50 percent drawback you can see that the total market cap of stable coins in the market is just down nine percent from the top which was around march 2022 but for the total crypto market cap excluding bitcoin and ethereum from that 2022 top guys is down more than 60 percent bitcoin too is down bad from that region so uh you see that stable coins are not actually their market cap is actually reducing because most people are actually run into stable coins yes the terrible situation happened right here where a lot of people are redeeming their stable coins and that's why you see the market cap of these stable coins reduced but even though the stable coin market cap is reducing and the total crypto market cap is going down faster now if you go and see bitcoin and ethereum dominance it looks as if it's falling into new lows and we have to be careful a lot of people have been calling for all season because anytime we see the bitcoin ethereum dominance falling to new low that is actually all season but guys you have to be careful this time and I, don't, I don't think this level will hold i actually think the bitcoin and ethereum dominance is going to fall but that doesn't mean we are going to see all season you can see that uh, bitcoin and ethereum dominance are interacted with that region once here once here once here and right now so i don't think uh, it's going to hold right now i think we're going to break through and guys remember if bitcoin and ethereum dominance is producing the market it doesn't mean other all coins are gaining dominance in the market remember stable coins are part of all coins and if stable coin dominance is increasing it makes sense that bitcoin and ethereum dominance is actually reducing we'll be checking the bitcoin ethereum and stable coin dominance later but let's look at the stable coin dominance in the market Stablecoin dominance in the market is actually entering new highs. We got to a new all-time high on the 18th of June 2020. That high was around 18% of the total market. The stablecoin dominance was around 18 on that day. Right now, the stablecoin dominance is back to 17.16. I think we're going for a blow off top for the stablecoin dominance, and that will be the final dump in the market. That's why I believe we have one final dump, but there's still good news, guys. Anytime the stablecoin dominance fall back to this 
200 moving average on a 3 day time frame we actually get some all season the two the last time it happened was in november we had an all season the other time was in january to may 2021 we had an all season even this period here february 20 we had a little all season before the COVID sell off we had another all season here in june 2019 so we know that anytime the stable coin dominance come back to this moving average which it would it would have to do and some point in time in the future it will have to come down to this moving average we don't know when maybe january 2022 maybe ending of this year but at some point in time we're going to have all season in the future and let's look at bitcoin ethereum and the stable coins the top stable coins in the market their dominance the dominance got to as high as 79 percent of the general crypto market and you can see that the rsi here for this dominance is still uh, in the lower region and if it pumps up to this upside i can see the stable coin dominance plus bitcoin and ethereum dominance going to around 80 percent of the market it means all coins are actually going to tank harder than bitcoin and ethereum so guys be careful with all coins at this point in time and let's take a look at um, bitcoin market cap guys why i still believe bitcoin might still dump lower is because on the market cap of bitcoin bitcoin has not touched its previous all-time high you know the price chart were below twenty thousand, and twenty thousand was the 2018 all-time high on the market cap chart we are not yet at the all-time high the all-time high for the bitcoin market cap chart in 2018 was around 330 billion dollars so bitcoin market cap has not gotten to the previous all-time high so i still think we'll get to the previous all-time high if we just actually get to the previous all-time high and turn we'll still see bitcoin from where we are right now bitcoin will have to dump another maybe nine percent which will carry us to around that 17 seventeen thousand two hundred dollar region and if that level doesn't hold we might see bitcoin dropping another 21 percent What's a 21% dump from where we are right now on Bitcoin? 21% dump carry Bitcoin to as low as, oops, around 14,800. So all the indicators we are checking, guys, is showing us that Bitcoin still have uh, downsides to go. Drop your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Tell me, do you think the bottom is in and do you believe that we still have one more dump? What are you doing with your altcoins? I want to hear your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notifications to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Seven, one, two.